very fortunate opportunity of meeting with Steve Reed, who is the video game producer and managing director at Ubisoft's Red Store. We were able to ask some down and dirty questions, like what are the best tips in order to get into the video game industry? So here he is, take a look. So usually the best advice I would say is that they uh, need to pick what their first step is going to be. And it's not usually the finished job, the dream job, but it's where can they get in the first. Find the benchmark samples that are going to be really good for getting their skills to that professional level. And maybe that their first step is going to be a mobile game, or maybe an app on the iPad. Find the best game that you want to work on, maybe it's already done, and then try to get your skill level up to that point. So we all do benchmarking. We find something and we want to get as good as that. And the first time that a student does something perfect, then they'll never be able to go back to less than that. They'll always be able to say, I've done that at that high level, even if it's a simple object or camera, a desk, a chair, as soon as they've done something perfect, then it's really easy for them to go, now I know everything I have to do is to that level. And then the next time they increase their benchmark, then they get their new favorite game, then they want to elevate their game to that level. So studying existing game assets, taking it and using it as a tool to understand how to do better. No texture stretching, good use of tessellation, making sure that the mesh is solid, making sure that it's beautiful from all different sides. You know, whatever it is that's going to make it perfect, making it be in an environment, not just an object floating in a max space, but an object that is grounded in reality, that has dirt and wear and human interaction, makes it look real, even if it's in a space game, if it looks lived in and looks used, then that's going to be the thing that makes it believable for someone. And that's kind of a way to say, how am I going to do my first best portfolio piece? Choose a nice object and just try to do it perfectly. So that's that's my goal. Now, when you guys are doing hiring and everything, yep. are you looking for somebody who's got a real mastery in one particular aspect, or somebody who has kind of skills and all, but kind of job know? jobs are usually based off the moment. So sometimes we choose to hire interns. Sometimes we choose to hire part-time contract. Sometimes we choose to hire someone who knows Flash who can work on user interface because we need that done now. So depending on where the time is in the project, sometimes it's very open and very flexible. Sometimes it's a little bit more specific. So it's not the same job every time. Almost everyone here is different. So we have to take it that way. So I say, even if there's not a job opening, if you want to work for that studio, you start to apply, you ask for feedback, maybe ask for the art test so that you can learn a little bit about the restrictions and that way you can make you better or better when you get the chance to apply when there is an option. Okay. Thank you.